All right, I am at the airport and heading to the Azores. Check-in area C, and I have no idea where that is, so hopefully it's just around here somewhere, and nope. I gotta rush though, because I only have four minutes till they cut off the bag check. Pretty impressive airport, all things considered. Just gotta find the check-in counter. There's probably no line at this point, because it's getting so close to departure time. All right, I am through security, and the check-in went smooth. I dropped my bag off. Only got about five minutes till they start boarding, allegedly. It's 45 minutes before departure, and this thing is a small little airplane. All right, so I'm in the lounge here at Lisbon Airport. I'm gonna grab a quick lunch before I get on to the airplane here. I guess they're gonna start boarding soon, but might as well get a lunch in while I'm here. I got myself two Vistas di Nata, a small meat empanada, and a Coke Zero. So, okay, quick lunch. Well, that flight went from no information to final call in a matter of two seconds, so. But I did make it, and I'm gonna board the plane now to the Azores. Continuing my exploration of Macaronesia, I would now fly to the Azores, an autonomous archipelago located 1,500 kilometers off the coast of Portugal, roughly one third of the way from Europe to North America. The flight from Lisbon to the incredibly green island of Terceira would cross an empty expanse of the North Atlantic Ocean during the roughly two hour flight. On board the flight to Terceira, Azores, I got here with just minutes to spare, so I'm very thankful that I made it today. We have about two hours and 10 minute flight to get out there. You can see just how empty this plane is. I'm not sure what that's attributed to. Likely the strict measures that are implemented in the Azores. So you have to bring the COVID test or get one when you're there. But I made it on board and we're gonna be taking off in just a few minutes here. Amazing views of Belem. If you look down, all the landmarks that I visited this morning, even the Torre del Bellum looks so small. Crazy. As I pan here to the west, you can see Kashkaish, which is the major beach resort of Lisbon. rains here today. Oh my goodness. It's like a pool out there. I definitely didn't expect it to be raining in the Azores. I always picture it with beautiful weather, so hopefully this little week here wasn't a mistake. Well, I guess we'll find out. But needless to say, I'm glad I'm in quarantine for the next 16 hours. All right, I'm on the ground in Tersara, and it is raining very heavily, actually. So we're rushing to the terminal. Put my big camera away for now. So I guess this is where you enter to get the test on arrival here in Tertsara. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. So I gotta say so far, it's really well organized. So you go on one line if you don't have a test, you go on another line if you do have a test. I'm just getting my bag now and then I actually go and get the test. All right, just waiting in line to get the test for 19. So it's actually really well organized and I guess they're taking me to a hotel. So I don't have to pay for one tonight, that is sweet. So mandatory quarantine means mandatory quarantine. They're gonna stick you in a hotel wherever they choose. But it is what it is. That test burns like crazy. I never had one up the nose before and I would not recommend it. Even though it doesn't really hurt, it's just very uncomfortable. But I guess we're going to the hotel now. Mandatory quarantine for the next 16 hours here in Tertsara. From the airport, I was provided with a free taxi transfer to the city of Angra do Horismo on the south shore of Tersaira, where I would spend an estimated 24 hours in quarantine awaiting the results of my PCR test. I think it's more than, than 12 hours. Oh, okay, I see. But they, they pay everything, the lunch, oh, okay. the Do you know if they if I miss the flight tomorrow? No, but you miss the flight tomorrow, they, they, they are responsible to... They will rebook. Yeah. I see, okay, that's good. Pretty nice digs. So this is literally gonna be my only time outside for the next 12 to 16 hours or so till I get my results. But you can see this beautiful island of Tertsaira. Here's the fort, little island offshore. 
and they put me up in this five-star hotel for the night. So I can't remember the name of this hotel, but I'll tell you guys in a little while. But yeah, very surly stuff, but otherwise, very beautiful setting here in Angro di Turismo. They set up these tables outside of the room, and that's where they deliver your dinner. I'm not allowed to leave this room until tomorrow morning when I get my results. Um, that's if they're negative, of course. If they're positive, I guess I stay here for two weeks, but I don't think that will happen because I have no symptoms. But here goes nothing, entering the room, and quarantine officially begins. The room is quite beautiful. Big king bed, or two doubles, or sorry, two twins. The bathroom looks good. No problems with this. Little kitchenette here. I guess if you're stuck for two weeks, that would definitely come in handy. And, you know, huge rooms. Well, you know, all measures. You can see television, living area, table. I mean, it's definitely a nice room and you are allowed to go on the balcony, so. And you can see, you got a nice view of the city from up here. And some possible structural integrity problems. Oh my goodness, crazy. Wow. But yeah, that is my suite here on Trusara Island. So I definitely hope that this gives you guys some sense of what co travel is actually like and what to expect if you come to the Azores and are, you know, I guess forced to quarantine here. Um, again, it's not as bad as you might think. I mean, they treated me amazingly. This is all free. I'm not paying for dinner, breakfast, or lunch. So, I mean, this is legitimately probably saving me a good 150 to 200 dollars. Not a bad deal whatsoever for a slight inconvenience. And also just peace of mind, kind of putting to rest any thoughts of, did I catch anything in any of the countries that I traveled in? So it'll be good to get those results tomorrow and know one way or the other if I've got COVID over the last five weeks of traveling around Europe. So just a few tips for sanitizing. They did include a bottle of rubbing alcohol, so I did use it to sanitize all surfaces. So basically I just doused all surfaces that I will use, like this, if I do some editing, my side tables and so forth. The beds are probably the cleanest thing in this room because they're changed but common surfaces might be missed even by good housekeeping staff. They might miss a surface here or there. So I did double check to make sure, like this here has never been cleaned by housekeeping, I don't think in a long time. Uh, there is still some crud and food residue here. I can still feel it with my fingers. And anything I would touch in the bathroom, same thing goes. I'm also using the other bed. You'll notice here, all my luggage is gonna be put on this bed and I'll sleep on this bed. That's just to minimize contact with surfaces. These rooms are used by people that don't know if they have COVID yet. So the best way to avoid the cross-contamination is to just make sure that you're not using surfaces that other people have touched. Well, that knock on the door was the dinner service, so my dinner has arrived. So let's see what we have today. And it looks like I'm the only one that's actually in the awaiting the results floor of this hotel. So that's probably a good thing in some ways. So a cutlery bag, pretty standard. Bottle of water, a peach juice, a bowl of soup, a roll, dinner roll, a pear, and this. And that actually looks pretty good. So they don't give you any dishes, it's all disposable. That's probably smart of them. And what do we have here? We have some sort of salmon, which looks really good. I'm not sure what that is, but we'll find out, I guess. Maybe bacalao, codfish, and we have a salad. So, you know, that's not bad for dinner. I mean, hey, you're looking at probably, you know, 10 euros value right there. Well, breakfast has been served. They've given me a bottle of water. I usually take my coffee black, but they've given me a coffee with milk and sugar, scrambled eggs, meat and cheese slices, a roll, which looks pretty good, and a very strange looking croissant that you can see right here. It looks handmade, it's probably good. Anyway, bon appetit, mandatory quarantine breakfast. It's actually pretty amazing how much you can get done when you're locked in a room. So I'm working on a new vlog, the first episode of the Europe series, which should be launching here within the next week. Beautiful views of the Atlantic Ocean from here. I can't believe it, guys. Honestly, this feels like a five-star all-inclusive resort. I realize that I might have to stay here another night. I think that is likely at this point, unless I can somehow get on the evening flight out. We'll see what happens. Life could be a lot worse than this. Lunch just arrived, so you can see what I have here. Grilled chicken, some vegetables, 
salad, a soup, looks like chicken soup, a roll, peach juice, water, and yeah, that thing over there, which I think is a dessert. It looks almost like a cheesecake. So not bad for lunch. I've been in quarantine now for 19 hours. So the 16 hours is an ambitious time estimate, just so everybody knows. I'm not in any rush to leave here. It is a beautiful property, beautiful setting, and I'm getting tons of work done. So honestly, life could be so much worse than this. Still no word though on COVID results. So no one really can give me an estimate. I guess it's whenever the lab gets to my name, I suppose. No rush, I mean, bring it on. Bring a few days on even. All right, folks. Hour 26 has passed. So they brought me another dinner here. You can see a fish fillet with some shrimp, vegetables, a salad, soup, an orange, peach juice, water, and a dinner roll. Not too bad whatsoever. So you can see the sun is rapidly setting here on Tersara Island. And you can also see I am still in the room. Still have not got permission to leave the room. So unfortunately, I gotta wait it out until I get some clarity on what the procedures are and where I'm to go from here. Still not entirely certain whether or not I'm staying here tonight. The lady on the phone seemed to imply that, but it could be that it's my responsibility to now go and buy a different hotel room somewhere else or pay them directly, I'm not too sure, but I guess we'll find out. So everything's been sorted out. I'm gonna be staying here at the hotel one more night and I am allowed to leave the room now. Portuguese taxpayers, I feel sorry for you. But that said, um, thank you for the dinner. I am looking forward to exploring Tertsaira Island tomorrow without the quarantine. I am out and about for the first time since my quarantine ended. So there's that. It's such a weird hotel. It's um, built on the side of a cliff and that's why the walls are cracking. It's not as stable as maybe they had hoped. Massive cracks in the wall in my room. So I don't know how long I would want to stay there anyway. That is the fort right in front of me. Beautifully lit at night too. Cute village. I've never been to Tursaira before, so I'm glad to be able to check around the village and experience everything it has to offer. Really steep hills here though, oh my goodness. So I can see a McDonald's coming up ahead. Never been around here yet. I was taken straight to the hotel, but boy, is it nice to stretch your legs and actually get out of the room. You don't realize how much you miss being outside until it's taken from you. Well, folks, everything is pretty much closed here in Angor do Turismo. So I'm gonna head to the hotel, get an early night's sleep, and then hopefully see the entire city before noon. It's a pretty small area, so I should be able to see all of the highlights at least. Good morning from Tersaira. I'm just about to sit down for my last quarantine breakfast. Same breakfast as yesterday. Today I'm going to be heading out to check out the UNESCO World Heritage Recognized Old Town of Angro do Horismo, the capital of this island. And then I'm off to Ponta Delgada, the capital of the Azores, for a half day of sightseeing. So I'm getting a lot of islands in, but not a lot of time on them, but that's because the price is amazing. I only paid 50 US dollars to travel from Lisbon to Tursara to Ponte Delgada and then onward to an island called Horta, which I'm gonna be visiting tomorrow. So I am zigzagging a bit in very short stops. It's at the end of my trip now and money is running short. So I'm trying to maximize efficiency at this point. All right, Instagram, I am leaving my room for the first time, in the daylight at least, to go check out some of the sites here in Angra do Horismo. Not sure exactly what I'm gonna be doing today. That's my hotel here, this big tower on the cliff side. Anyway, we'll see what this town has to offer. 